Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Drom. We in a little scav raid on the line right now. Looks like we just spawned at the new area. Excited to be gaming right now. Got a... I haven't been playing too much, but had to hop on the Tarkov. Kind of see what's up. Just uh, starting my day out with a little bit of a... Just some chill gameplay. Kind of grab some loot. See if... uh. See what the PvP's like, see if there's some dead players in raids, see kinda get the feel of what's going on. It is a it's a weekend and weekend Tarkov always goes a little bit wild. You know how weekend Tarkov is. Kinda all over the place. Looks like this isn't looted though. So pretty good. Looks like there's some pretty good stuff here. Yeah, no, this is not looted. A lot of good stuff here right now. Not too sure the prices on everything, because like I said, I haven't been playing as much, but, um, you know, the good items, the ratchet, the fuel, the owl, a couple of these GP coins. We do have a bog, which will be nice. We have some food and water to keep us going here. Um, the scissors are probably not going to be worth it. The one slot items I'll keep for now until we need the space. And that's that. So, oh, another good item there. Let's go ahead and keep moving over to the next area. Definitely let me know what you guys want to be seeing from me. I like to do... All kinds of different Tarkov content. I've played the game for a long time. And when you play the game for a long time, you kind of just end up naturally finding a million different ways to play the game. Because it can get kind of repetitive. So, you know, whatever you guys want to see, I can I can do it. I, I like playing slow. I like aggroing. I, you know, I can really do whatever. Just want to provide some really awesome content for you guys. You know, let me know if you want to see, like, some loot montages, you want to see some PvP montages, full edited raids, which this is going to be a full edited raid. I really like doing these where I just kind of throw some commentary in, I kind of walk around, see what I can get into, see what I can find. Just kind of be chill, hang out with you guys for a little bit. I'm putting my uh, my stream on the back burner because I'd like to really just provide some really awesome content for the YouTube. And, you know, if you guys want some streams, I can be, you know, a little more diligent on doing the streams. But I'd like to focus on just providing some really awesome chill content for you guys to enjoy. But... With that being said, let me just run over to the resort here, and I will hop back in with you guys. And we'll go ahead and start looting up the resort and see what's going on. Alright guys, looks like we're coming up to resort right now. We're going to go in East Wing here. I'm going to start with this little hut out here. See what's in there. I know some motors can spawn in there. A couple jackets. We'll see if it's looted. we got 21 minutes in raid. Our extract's in the East Wing entrance. So that's on this side. We're going to go ahead and see what we can get. Accidentally shot there. Um, The loot's been really good since I've been playing. I was pulling out, you know, a couple mil a raid, you know, I had back-to-back -back 2.5 mil raids playing here on the line. So, hopefully we can pull something near there. You know, we are on a scav, so you gotta expect a little less, but there's so much here to loot that unless you're dealing with some really high-level players, there's gonna be some stuff left behind. You know, unless you have, like, high-level players in the raid and a ton of player scavs, there's going to be bags that were missed. There's going to be computers that were missed. And all that does is provide you with some GPUs, potential LEDXs, ophthalmoscopes, all the goodies that we, you know, know and love. 
So first PC, it's not looted, so good sign that some of the extra stuff on the exterior rooms are going to be open for us to hit. Blood set, not something we need. Um, got another bag right here in the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little loot of this whole area. And, oh, this bag was actually hit. Okay. So mine that. This bag's hit. Do have a VOG. Looks like 226 was opened. So, they looted that end bag. They probably looted this stuff in here, so I'm not going to waste my time with it. What I am going to do is I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to come over into here. This is probably one of the best rooms in resort. Um, if you don't have any keys, it's got multiple med bag spawns, so multiple chances for a lead X. Um, gonna go ahead and take that so we can heal if we need to. Already pretty set up heal wise. That solidifies everything we need right there. We're gonna drop those, take the eye fact, and this way we'll be able to heal up if we get attacked on anything. I keep hitting the that's the most I've done that ever. Just keep hitting my computer. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to loot some more of this, and I'll hop back in and we get a little more loot. If we run into a player or something. There we go. Just got some new armor. It's level three, better than what we got. We also got a mag, and I'm going to take this so I can put some attachments on it if we find any more attachments while we're here. Keep moving. Look at that. That was already looted. They left some painkillers on the body here. Looks like somebody cleared this out pretty good. I'm going to head over to admin and see what's going on over there. Little tip for going into admin. That right there, it gives your position away, but... The angle you're coming through, if you're willing to risk not dying to somebody that's camping right here, it's worth it. It's worth it. Gives you a good angle. Gives you timing that not a lot of people are aware of. And, you know, say you got people camping up here in one of these rooms. You jump through there and push them. They're not going to realize your timing's that fast. You can usually catch people off. Looks like admin was looted, though. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to check a couple of these just to see if it's completely stripped. That's completely stripped, so I assume all of these are hit. Um, you can tell, though, that a lot of these items and stuff here are... Look at this. This actually isn't looted. Or maybe they just left it because it's not good stuff. That might be the case. Sometimes people don't loot these, though, because they're just looking for graphics cards. And this is what happens from me not playing as much. I'm not quite sure if that's worth this ME4, but we're going to grab it and see anyway. Um, Since those crates weren't really looted, I'm going to double check these rooms because it definitely looks like they looted them. But, you know, if they skipped over one, there could be a graphics card in one of these. So, Well, it looks like they came in here just for this PC, so... Yeah, not really anything. So, let's go ahead and keep going. We we have the opportunity here to just extract. We got 14 minutes left in raid. I'm going to go ahead and just try to run this to the end and see how much we can fill up. So, I'm going to finish looting this bag and then head over to West and I'll hop back in with you guys when I find some good uh, good stuff.
a water filter. You know what? We're just gonna take the water filter. We got much we don't got much time left in raid. So just getting over here in the west. We're gonna see what we got looted, what we don't. Just normal little little run through, check of everything. SP8's not bad, no red card. Let's go ahead and hit the exteriors of the basement here. We got uh four things of food here that we can drop and or eat. And we're going to have to be doing that so we can grab some more loot. Um, the basement here has usually got a lot of good loot. People usually skip over stuff like this. Going to grab that pistol, get that little bit of looting XP up. Keep going with the flow here. We got a syringe, a sodium, and a toothpaste. So the sodium is going to be good because... We got a bunch of food to drop. Got a bunch of one slaughters. Let's go ahead and eat these peas. PGW. See, that's the kind of upgrade we want to see. So let's go ahead and drink this just for the XP. We're going to grab this PGW. There we go. Already checked that room here. Keep going through basement, noodles, squash, we do got another bag in here, let's go ahead and hit this up, nothing really I'm interested in there, so let's go ahead and go to far, we are 1130 left in raid. So I'm going to quick loot all of this and I will regroup with you guys when I got a little more in the inventory and I can show you what we got. Look at that. We got a 260 AR and a under barrel grenade launcher pool right there. Pretty good. We're going to drop this stuff. All right, guys, so we just finished looting first, second, and third floor West Wing. We got six minutes and 40 seconds left in raid. We're going to head out to extract right now. Oh, right as I spoke, I forgot that there is a PC in here that I forget about, and I definitely know other people will forget about. So quick check on this PC. Power cord, nothing crazy. Open these up just for fun. All right, let's get out of here. And this is what I'm telling you guys. This was a raid that was completely picked over. I mean, look at this loot. Five minutes, 30 seconds left till extract. Made it out. Perfect timing. This is what I mean. There's just so much potential in these scav raids on Shoreline. No kills. 1.6k XP. But just a ton of money. And you see I got a bunch of uh, leftover insurance and stuff in the inventory. But... So, go ahead and quick dump all this stuff, and I'll get back when we are done selling this stuff to see how much we made this raid. Alright, well, looks like after selling everything, we got about 
800k. Um, not selling the Vaseline because I use them. Not selling the Vogue because I use it. Um, kept these as well so I can take them and bring in, uh, bring out more attachments. Oh, forgot to sell the water filter. Water filters are a big amount of money, so looks like. Looks like we're looking at another 130k. So like 800, 900k. Not bad. Pretty good scav raid to start the day off. Alright, that's going to be it for me though, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next one.